Oh my. No. Dude, I finally get to be tall in an episode for once. For, I look so short. I know. I look super short. Dude, I look like I should be a part of the basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually terrible at basketball. You know, I never played. I was one of those summer league kids that showed up for a couple of games and realized I was so far out of shape. And then I would get the shot like at the end of the game where everybody's like rooting for me like oh my I God, had like, Rudy? like Yeah, like I had <laughs> issues. Like I clearly don't have any issues other than the fact that I'm short and terrible at basketball. Oh but people God. would like really get behind me, like really hoping I do well. I love that though. Good support <laughs> system. Yeah, I love it too. So hey, we're, we're going to start this thing off with a shot of Fireball. Nice. Now you, you lead the way. There's a chaser there if you want it. I don't need that. I how, think how big of a shot are we doing? I mean, however big you want. You can chug a whole bottle. I mean, we got, hey, we got Uber on the Uber Eats on the <laughs> way with another bottle for us. Um, yeah, like, no, honestly, I'm super stoked to have you here because not only one, are you know, like, Probably my second favorite burlesque performer in the world. Ooh, you're the, you're oh literally God. the best. And Thank then you. I, and then, like, when I asked you if you wanted to be on the podcast, I had no idea that you actually wanted to be. Yeah, I wanted to be. This is ah, cool. This cheers. is so cool. Ah. No, like, I had seen your videos before from, like, when Mary had been on. and oh, that was so much fun, too. I saw Cinnamons, too. And I'm love it. And then you came to Burlesque Side. I'm like, well, this is even, this is even better. <laughs> I actually have so much that I want to say because the evolution of me towards you. Yeah. You have no idea. I'm I thought curious. You were, I thought you were so mean. You thought I was mean? Five, four, three, two, one. And this is Shot 30 Podcast, and I am Shane Newburn. Today I have one of my favorite people in the world. The beautiful Miss Daisy Fontaine is in the studio from Mary Quike and Terry's House of Burlesque. And so we yeah, like we got some pre-talk in here, but I do want to say, when I went to that class, yeah. oh my gosh, I thought you you looked at me and you were I was like, this is why I didn't want to come. This woman thinks I'm a piece of shit. She thinks I'm an asshole. And then you did. I said something to you and you were just like, yeah, okay, man. I was like, God, baby, I need to get out of this class. These women are going to eat me alive. And then Elizabeth, Elizabeth was so much nicer than you that day. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, we're both nice. But... No, no, no. I have oh come gosh. to I have come to realize that you are literally one of the nicest, best people I've ever met in my whole life. I just, that day. You were a mean, mean woman. Oh, okay, come on, come on. Oh, party. <laughs> Party's red. You see me in the corner. I turned your mic on for one second if you want to say something. Say something. You I thought I was mean. I just I just told her that the first class I went to, you knew I said that. The first class I thought she was mean to me. No way. You knew you know I you said that. Me to him. I know. It was my own problem. <laughs> It was my own problem. Do you want to take a shot of Fireball with us before you yeah, go out of here? You should. No, but I'll take a drink of a regular drink. Oh, yep, there you go. Okay. But I don't do Fireball. Uh, the Misha Nouvelle. Last one more Fireball. Can you finish off the one? Good thing I went for another run. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad you did. <laughs> I'm really glad you did. <laughs> Misha Nouvelle is part of Mary Quite Contrary's House of Burlesque as well. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, gosh, wait. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, have lots of fun. We got this thing started off in a party. <laughs> we really did. Mm. Did you really take a chaser for this? Uh, I always do. I always chase. Huh. I've been judged by thousands. But the thing is, I've drank a handle of Fireball in a day mm -hmm. and still been okay. Never okay. puke, never throw up, never hung over, no, nothing. I don't get hangovers. Yeah. I, I don't get them. Really? I think it's genetic, so. It could be. It runs in my, like, alcoholism, like, runs in my family. <laughs> yeah. And my brother and I, we don't get them. So we can drink, 
we can black out and we will not have a hangover. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like I mean, I'm like I'm. There's some things like beer will give me a hangover. Like I'll feel sick if I drink beer. I like beer. I don't like beer. It's, but ugh. what's the point of beer, man? I could take two shots of Fireball, and it's equivalent to drinking six beers. Thank you. Thank you. I like to drink to get drunk. Yes. If I'm gonna like really drink, I like to get drunk. I don't want a beer. Why would I waste all that time? Mm -hmm. It's precious mm -hmm. time. And money. Yeah, you're very right. You're mm -hmm. very right. Like thirty dollars a case or thirty dollars a bottle. I'd rather have the bottle. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the same. <laughs> but yeah, no, and actually from what we were saying earlier, yeah. I came to realize I was just so nervous at the class that I thought that everybody was looking like oh, looking no. at me like that. I was here for it. I loved it. I walked downstairs because I <laughs> Somebody kept saying, yeah, let's keep doing the dance over and over again. I was like, guys, come on. Let's go the fuck home. I'm tired as shit. My legs hurt. I've done more straddling on a chair than I've ever done in my life. It's like, let's go home. Let's call it a day. That was an intense class, too, it, it that you fun. came to. That was fun, though. It was it was fun. So, like, when um, with the show, the showcase... Mm -hmm. Um, so when that song played and yeah. no one realized what I was doing, like Sarah's face, she was like, <laughs> tell me, tell me that's what you're dancing to. I was like, it is. That is so funny. I wouldn't call it dancing. I just went out there and <laughs> was crawling around and doing some things. You know, my grandma was in the front row. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, grandma. She probably loved it. She so, probably had a head on you. One of my favorite things, <laughs> one of my favorite things about the show was the fact that I told, because I was so nervous that it was, it was too far out there. I do that every show. Yeah. I'm like, okay, do you see anything? Yeah. Legs up in the air? You have to. Oh, uh, yeah. So, but actually, so you have been performing burlesque for, well, what would be, this is second <gasps> year or third year? This would be No, the, this is like about a year and a half. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I continually think that COVID has been so much longer than it has been. Yeah. So yeah, before right before COVID's when you were getting started, right? Um, no, during COVID. Oh, so yeah. I, it's something I've always wanted to do, and in my college town there was a troupe, and I thought about auditioning way back then, but then they disbanded when I was going to do it. Wait, where'd you go to college? Um, Northern Iowa. Okay. Way up North Cedar Falls, and they had um, a troupe called Sissy Circus, and they would put on these huge productions. It was really cool, and. Yeah, they, they disbanded. So then... Sissy Circus sounds like a porno I watched once. I mean, it could have been. It could have been. <laughs> hey. But, um, yeah, I, my first show ever was Rain Razor's Court of Royalty show. Mm -hmm. um, Rain Razor, she'll be on the podcast in uh, December 5th. Yeah. So I was in her show, and I did a duet with Dahlia Dutch, who's in Taboo Burlesque. And I know that name. Do you know that name? I do know that yeah. name. Yeah. It's really difficult. Like sometimes it's hard for me to get match the because I always I may I own people by the real like yeah. the, like the real name right or, right. It's the same way when I worked at the prison. Like yeah. instead of calling like Timory uh, Newbert, yeah, I would, it's Timory. Yeah, you know, like I would always yeah. I. I so I struggle with, I'm like, go with the alias, you know, like if it was Spider-Man in front of me, I'd call him Peter, you know, like, right, right. but okay, no, keep going, keep going. Yeah. So that was my first show. Mm -hmm. And then and that you loved was, it? I did. And I was in a, I was in a different school last year and then with COVID it kind of messed things up. And then, but then like right before I had signed up to do that, I had went to burlesque size and that's where I met Mary. Yes. I already... <laughs> So I I met her there, but I had signed up for this other class, and um, burlesque size had ended. Things weren't happening with that class, COVID and whatnot, and so I started going to burlesque, burlesque size again. Mm -hmm. And before you know, it, here I am now. And then I auditioned in the beginning of May, and here I am. And you kill here it. I am. You kill it. Actually, like I so you were actually part of my stand up that I did this past weekend. Was I really? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, because. I was very fascinated with how you got those things moving in the way you got them moving. <laughs> yeah. So at your, her last show, she does the, the titty tassels where they're literally swinging in unison and perfect symmetry. And I, yeah, I like, so I loved it so much. I made it, I made a full joke about it. I want to hear it. it well, it, I want to hear it. So it's, it was about how you did that and mm -hmm. how, when I won my titty tassel twirl off at the very first burlesque show I ever went to. Yeah. How I wish I had more time to train for it. That I would have been out there training like Rocky Balboa for that moment. 
Like I would have been in three feet of snow without a shirt on, titty tassels on, a lo- giant log on my back. Just like, oh yes, gosh. bitch, just get shaking, it, bitch. Sh- shimmying. Yeah, or like <laughs> in the wood, bur- like in the barn with the wood burner going, doing oh those gosh. sit-ups. I just can like, see this. You fucking beautiful you should bitch. Make that into like a little video. You beautiful bitch, <laughs> dude. Was, yes, queen. Burlesque get it. boot camp. Yes, a little short. <laughs> but no, I did think about it because like your your video, like while well, seeing it and then the video too, I was like, dude. You like you like did a thing where you were like you swung and you just and then boom you perfected it. Yeah, yeah. That's a hard thing to perfect. It, it is, but I mean, a lot of practice to do it. God, yeah, and like, they just go. Randy Sinclair's been trying to show me how to perfect how to take off the socks. Oh gosh, she's so good at that. <sighs> Randy is so good at that. Oh my god. No, Randy, if you're out I there, I know that's a girl. No, that's no, a girl. No, no, <laughs> I don't blush anytime anybody says that name anymore in this studio. You're blushing right now. Don't no, lie. you are turning pink. <laughs> don't. I'm not. Randy, a... he loves you. Okay. Well, the thing is, okay, so for like I don't know three years, I've been telling Timmy that I was just obsessed with. Like gilf porn, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. Oh, just the, those older women and everything they know how to do. Mm-hmm. And then Timmy got so mad, and then boom, Randy Sinclair falls in my hands. <laughs> and then Randy Sinclair is like the single most aggressive sexual human being I've ever met. She is, <laughs> yeah. she is, and she, she knows doesn't, she's a woman who knows what she wants. She doesn't even take a second to pause. She's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, like, like, whoa, whoa, mama, calm down. She goes. Don't call me that. And like I was, I was like, when I said that she was coming back on the podcast, she's like, I'm not wearing anything but the, the titty tassels. I was like, I oh my God, wait. that'll be a freaking blast. I was like, I'll just wear edible underwear. She goes, you won't have them by the end of the show. I'm like, Jesus, man, we're making a porno. Dude. I love it. She, she is the best. She is so funny. Like, I mean, even in her, the podcast that we did together, like, I was telling her that she could have stopped Hitler, and like, I was telling her all this <laughs> stupid shit, and she was just joking and so much fun the whole time about it. That is awesome. That's my favorite thing. That's why I kind of, you know, especially when it comes to, like, Mary, you know, yeah. Mary, like, where do we start with Mary? Mary's one of those people that just make you feel so good about she yourself. She does. You know, and sometimes you're just like, Mary, be quiet. And Mary's I'll like, never. I will never. And then you just love her even more after. <laughs> like, I, she is a person that doesn't, I don't, I don't know how to word it, but she just gives love nonstop. And that's one of the best things ever. She does. And she does it to everybody. And Dad, it's still like when we went out, me and Timmy, when we went out and got the tattoos, mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. was... Like the um, the idea was because yes, Mary and this class has been so impactful for Timmy. She's mm-hmm. lost eighty five pounds in the process of this, and all of these things she feels like she doesn't care. She'll fucking put on a little tank top and be like, "Oh, this is too small," oh, and then she goes, I love it. "Fuck it." And I the, love it. And you know, like it's it's more of the symbolism of all of you guys. Like just everybody. This, there isn't this big, huge drama and worry, and all. it's just—it's a happy class and happy people. It really, it really is. That's, it really is. That, We're all like that, though. I know and you it, guys made me leave the class feeling like that when I was so <laughs> nervous. I was a little baby nervous. God, that was so fun. You need to come back. I will come back. We're doing Christmas songs. Oh God. So, mm-hmm. What's your favorite Christmas song? You know, I'm—I don't like Christmas music. I don't like Christmas music. Don't you even do that. I don't like it. I am a Christmas music um, October 22nd Stop guy. It. Stop it. Dude, Stop when, it. When I worked at Menards and they'd start, like, they're like, hey, put up the Christmas tree. And it's like September. I was like, yes. Stop it. Yes. Santa. No. <laughs> yes. No. I do. I love it. I want it to snow. I want it to be, I want there to be so much snow okay, right I now. I do like snow. I do like snow. I don't like driving in it, though. And I have to drive a lot for work. So I, I don't like doing that. Yeah. So you call in sick? No, I can't. Lot. I can't do that. I've never taken a sick day at my job. You're a demented human. I being. work from home. I don't have to. Oh, okay. And that I make makes my own, way, I make that my makes, own schedule. That makes I work ma- routines. Way I, more I sense. Routines. So I don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could you I like I could prefer like three feet of snow year round. Oh gosh, I like the cold though. I do like the cold. They I don't wear plow cool outfits. They don't plow Matherville until it's all the way done. Are you serious? Yeah. 
So we that's why we have all this stock of like that food. makes me want to write a letter. Like <laughs> No, no, don't write a letter. We've got like no. wine stocked up for years. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna so come here. The second the snow starts and we got gen- we got generators and my, my new truck from work. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to power the house for t- up to two days. Oh, and yeah, on a tank of gas. That's cool. Yeah, it's that's got, really cool. It's got like plugins in the back. It's got like a measuring tape. Got to make sure you have gas before you come home, huh? dude. <laughs> I got this new truck from work. It's got this huge like, like you press a button and then the back like opens up automatically. Lights show up and like that's it's fancy. like cameras everywhere. And I was just out there laying there. I was like, baby, will you measure my wiener on this new? <laughs> like I was laying there. She's like, still the same size. I was like. Damn it. I thought it'd be a little, like a little <laughs> bit bigger because I was very erect over the new truck. Oh my God. I would be too. Oh. You'd have to. I went for two years of not having air or heat in my truck. Oh my I need a new car so bad. I, drove I, I do have heat and air though. That, I do have that. Oh. I'm not at that level yet, but I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming do, for a new one. Do you know what a woggle is? No. What is that? Okay. So every day when I left for work, I worked an hour away at my old job and mm-hmm. I knew the truck didn't have heat. Okay. So if it was negative five, mm-hmm. I would just sit there and shiver. <laughs> but I put on a woggle. And a woggle is like a giant sweater. Like a massive sweater that you can put over your knees and read okay. books in. So like a slanket or like a snuggie? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And so I would just wear that and like tuck in and hold the That's wheel. Awesome. And I That's fucking awesome. loved it. Dude, I would literally show up at like La Gondola. It's a restaurant in Kiwani. And they're like, are you... Are you wearing a woggle? That's that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing they knew what it was. Yes, my friends, I am. And I love it. We had to do that in high school. Like our Wear bus. woggles? No. Well, we had to bring blankets on our bus. Because it was so cold on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so cold. And, like, no one rode the bus. And, like, it was temperature controlled for how many students should be on it. Uh-huh. And we had, like, a 72-passenger bus. Wouldn't you think it'd be warmer, though, all that body heat? There was only, like, ten of us on the bus. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. So, no. It was bad. It was yeah. bad news. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you guys were the ones <laughs> trying to survive. Yeah, literally. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. But I, so I do want to talk about a, a little bit of, well, before we get um, too far in, mm-hmm. um, Shot 30 Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox. That's yes. really cool. Go take care of your man's pubes, man. You know, there's a, th- you know, like, you can have Christmas and then you can have the day after Manscaped. Christmas. Manscaped. Or the night, be- yeah. night before Christmas. Do you, do you think maybe that's where they got the name, Nightmare Before Christmas? I mean, maybe. Because they sent the kids up to bed. I mean, maybe. And it'd be a nightmare for all those children. What's that one Christmas song about Mama and Santa? What song is that? Uh, I saw Mama kissing. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this. Here. This is going to make me sound so much better. Are you cheating? Yeah, I'm cheating. (laughs) I saw... No. Let me change change that up. There we go. Sounds like a hymn song. <laughs> We're done with that. We're done with that. Yeah, no more of that. Sounds like the hymn version. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the one who's so far away. <laughs> I don't know if that's a hymn. <laughs> I mean, it is now. Never heard that one at the, the Catholic Church. Shot 31. Church. I did go to... I've, I've only been to church a handful of times in my life. Same. Same. Uh, I'm lying. I've been to church three times. Two times for free pancakes because I was broke as fuck when we were kids. That's not bad. And one time because uh, I had an ex that said that she was going to leave me if I didn't go with her family to the place. And I was like, I just don't really feel comfortable (laughs) drinking the Lord's blood and eating his skin. That's fair. That is fair. But damn, dude, that Lord's blood was pretty decent for that seventeen-year-old boy, man. And it's free. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's free too. Mm-hmm. The last time I was at church, I fell asleep. So I mean, not too far behind you. Uh, I was snoring in this church. Oh, I could do that too. I could do that as uh, yeah. I feel like I could be in the same boat. You taking a shot of fireball with me? Yeah, I'll take one of you. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready. I'm always ready. That could be the Lord's blood as well. It might as well be. I mean, even though there's a picture of a devil on the front of the bottle. <laughs> Works for me. It I'm is. Take two. You can take two. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm, I mean, uh, I've I had, like the party chain. Don't. I've had two. This. I've had two of these before you got here. Did you really? Yeah. Man, I was I'm really, slacking. I was really excited for this. Like this is <laughs> no, like for real. This is you know sometimes there's a podcast like where I 
like, look at. I haven't even gotten to the what the point that I was just about to make. Like, literally we seventy keep six track. minutes this ago. This is a problem. No, this is my favorite. I love this. This is my favorite. And you know, some people hate it. Some people love it. And that's that's all on everybody. Well, if they hate it, they don't have to watch. I mean, they should watch, and then they should subscribe to you. They sh- they should. But I mean, honestly, after they do that, they can leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we're we're literally going to dive into. We're going to dive into creeps. We're going to dive into weirdos. Love. love. Oh. These are my topics. Yeah, these, are these are my favorite. topics. I love. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> but uh, first though, I do want to give you all the credit because not just from my wife in this house, mm-hmm. I've had so many people talk about how talented you are when really? it comes to your outfits and turning nothing into something. Oh and then like this stuff like... Even the good, like, we had two messages when we announced that you were going to be on the podcast. We've already had two messages about you and please have her talk about um, Goodwill and her turning turning crap into a masterpiece. This is my topic. You want to talk about this? Absolutely. So, one, Goodwill actually shot a promotional video in my apartment. Oh, oh my God! Are you they, serious? I'm serious. They shot a commercial in my apartment. They're like visit Goodwill for all your shopping desires, and then they just seriously. Went through your well, they they interviewed me because I shop there so much. Oh my God! Are you serious? I'm dead serious. They shot it in my living room, and then they shot like different things in my apartment that I found from Goodwill. So I converted the extra like bedroom bonus room in my apartment to uh-huh. my closet. So there's like footage of my closet. There's like my favorite find, like. I found like a um, an Andy Warhol poster oh, yeah. from the Art Institute in Chicago. I found that at Goodwill. I have it hanging on my door. <sighs> like I have found some really cool stuff. They came in there and they filmed it all. That is awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You, that, can, you can find it if you go to the Goodwill page. So, do you think that they give me copyrights to put that on this video? I mean, it's just might. permission. Like they might probably. Man, we'll try to. If not, we'll put a couple. Like we'll put a seven second clip. I mean, honestly, they might. I mean, if if they don't, we can come shoot some stuff in my apartment. Okay, cool. It's only gotten cooler, so. Yeah. Dude, we can do all this. Look at We're grown-ups. Look at us. Look at... No one can tell Adulting. us no. Adulting. No. No one can. can tell us no. And that's my favorite... One of my favorite things is, too, like, you know, I'll have a fucking slumber party with my friends. So do I. We still do that. My friends and I do that. Do you, do you know who Adam Equality Peters... Um, I've heard of him. Beautiful. I don't know him. He's like, I, we share pictures of him. He's beautiful. Okay. He's got a mustache, long, beautiful hair. He looks like Fabio had sex with Brad Pitt, and then Brad, and then they like just mixed it in a, like a, a a bowl of butter with like Jennifer they made some Aniston baby gravy yeah. and like just made a party, right? Yeah, Adam is literally the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. And I, what the fuck was, oh yeah, so the other day he just came over mm-hmm. to just sit on our couch and watch movies. That's awesome. And it was the best. He was I teaching me how to fry. I love doing that I love doing that. He was teaching me how to fry chicken. <laughs> Cause Is I'm, that why you made fried chicken? Well, I w- wanted to make him a Thanksgiving Day meal because mm-hmm. he had done some things for me that, I mean, just, I mean, thank you. Like, I, all I can say is thank you. Right. Just some really best friend stuff. And I was going through some things, some really hard times with some yeah. of, with a couple of things. And he was just being that, you know, being a good friend, you know, like the, yeah, fuck those people. I don't yeah. care about those people. <laughs> you yeah. know, like just listening to me being a little cry baby. And I don't, I don't do that very yeah, often. Could be mean to yourself. That's not being a cry baby. Well, I, I don't really do I, – I don't vent to people. Okay, yeah, but that's that's normal. Yeah, I can't – Don't be mean to yourself. I know, but I keep, I'm, a, I'm a lot like – I'm, a, I'm a, like a safe box. And that's fine. It barely like, ever leaks out, but when it leaks <laughs> out, it's like, dude, we just let out the fucking – what was that book? Um, The book when we were we were kids. I know we're the same age. Are I we? know we got to be. How old are you? How old are you? How old are, I asked you first. Are you between 28 and 34? No. Younger or older? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I got no idea. I would I'm guess 27. 27. I was just going to say, I guess you're 27. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm 27. So, Ghostbusters. I've, I've actually never seen Ghostbusters. Okay. Yeah, we we would have been in school together. Probably, yeah. 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 So, um, like, Ghostbusters was, like, a really big deal. With, but it's when you opened up the book or opened up a box, okay. everything came out right. in Ghostbusters. Right. Kind of the same thing with, uh, I think Casper was the same way. What same they thing, opened yeah. up. Or like Aladdin, the the yep. genie you rub on the bottle. Whoa! Now you got, now you got all this blue shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything comes out, and you have to deal with it. But no, like that's kind of the way I've always 
been built. Right. Just keep it all locked in for so long. And then I find somebody who just wants to listen. I'm like, you want to listen to me? <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> You're going to get everything, boo. <laughs> for five hours later, they're like, man, thank you for ordering me pizza and picking me up 17 beers. Um, wow. That's a lot, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just begging for forgiveness. Oh, my begging. gosh. Begging. Oh, my gosh. But, okay, so now we got to get back to it. Yeah, I mean, so did you teach yourself to do all of those things, or was that more of a... For what, the thrifting part or the sewing part? What, 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 what? I saw him in concert. That was a good <gasps> concert. Macklemore's great. He's fucking awesome. Dude, and, like, people are sleeping on him, especially with the movement of times. So on my Normie account, I'm friends with his wife on Facebook. Damn. Isn't can that we get, wild? Can we get him on the pod? I mean, I don't know. I, just, I can no, try. I can, the worst she's going to do is delete me. But like. <sighs> no, don't. You don't want to lose that connection. It's so cool though. I can say I'm friends with Macklemore's wife. Has she likes stuff on your page? She has not. But God, it's okay. Bitch. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. I'm friends with her. Like, okay. What if okay. she's watching this right now? Hey, we love Macklemore. We would love Macklemore to be on this podcast. <sighs> wearing his fur coat. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dude, he bought himself a keyboard. Wait, wait, sold a, bought a broken keyboard, sold a broken keyboard. Isn't yeah, that literally. what it's at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, like, I, oh, man, he really was, man, I wouldn't even get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he really was a, like, a game changer in a time, too, when there was a lot of movement going on, like, right. like, the gay movement and stuff like that, where, come on, like, let's, like, not make this, this is this doesn't need to be media I think it was a changing anymore. point of like a generational change too. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a, it was a changing point then. Where people were like, dude, I love Macklemore. Why is Macklemore talking about gay stuff? And well, that, like, he talked about like real issues too. He, I, and like honestly, like um, his song, what, what is it called? Thrift Shop? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it was called, yeah, Thrift Shop. Yeah, Thrift Shop. I mean, the underlying tones of that song also is like reuse recycle like yeah he's like he's a really cool dude he really yeah. is oh, or the, 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 the you're you're right it was the it was the other one that he did that was like the big yeah big yeah deal. that was a good one too um, he, when he i was in the third grade i thought that i was gay because my uncle was i could draw and i keep my room straight i told my mom tears running out my face was like ben i can change yes even if i tried yeah yeah and it was like he was so refreshing to hear a voice like that mm-hmm. and a guy that, I mean, he was popular. Yeah, of course, but it was so refreshing to hear. And then, yeah, of course, like the next song was about recycling. It. And, and when well, you that think one about came it before that, even, and it know? was funny and silly yeah. and so good, but it's, you know, people need to take their craft and their art and the same thing with you, you know, like you and burlesque and all these people use your art to, you know, move and change people in ways, you know, like, right. I know, well, you have lost a ton of weight. I have. You have lost but a ton. But it was ton. unintentional, though. Well, I mean, whatever you wanted. Right, right, right. I mean, I'm probably going to tell people to not try the 600-pound life method. I mean, I would, I would too, <laughs> unless they fully embraced it. Like, and if that was their thing. Well, Support them, either way. You know, the thing that I always think is... You know, I've gotten really fat. I have put on – well, actually, I so in like that picture right there, yeah. I was competing. I weigh the exact same poundage right now as I did there, and I had zero body fat on me. I believe <laughs> that, though. I believe that. But, you know, like I – I'm like, you know, there's, there's, there's a different quality for me to look at myself – yeah, I'm fat, but I'm happy, and I'm doing all kinds of crazy weight, weight shit. Weight does not define you. No. And I think a lot of people make that assumption, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of people make the assumption that, like, fat means ugly, and that's not true either. I don't like even, I don't even like fat. I just like to, I, I like more or less call my, I like, call myself fat. Yeah, but, like, but that's I, okay. I'm fat, like, and it's okay not, to say that. But you're not fat. But you're saying it in a bad way. I know. I say it to myself in that way. Don't. I know. Well, I mean, I am fat. I am, you're not fat. Don't. I mean, if you well. look at that, I am, like, technically, like, morbidly obese. But that's a joke anyways. That does not mean that's bad, though. And that does not mean ugly. And that does not mean negative. Do you, you know what? So the morbidly obese, <laughs> obese isn't that terrible? <laughs> it is terrible. I weed. Okay. So I was um, I, I, when I just went to the correctional center um, academy. Yeah, I got accepted to the prison in Illinois, mm-hmm. and um, 
I went there and I was 225 pounds. Mm -hmm. Dude, I literally had arms that were just veins. And they're like, sir, you're 5'7", 225. You are Stop it. way above the spectrum. I was like, dude, what you talking about, man? I got abs. I got, a, I got an eight pack. They're like, I know, but our spectrum is reading like like the weight to a height. And I was like, dude, are we like, what? what? And, and that was kind of like another one of my first, just like, this is so stupid. Okay. Try being in eighth grade and they tell you you are morbidly obese based off of like their little fitness chart they have oh i know and i literally i look back and I'm like you are the problem you <laughs> yeah. ate to the problem you guys made me feel like shit from seventh you know grade I mean? no, seriously they tell you that it's like fifth sixth grade and then then they like oh don't don't feel bad about yourself like you tell me i am morbidly obese and i can't do anything <laughs> that's the worst <laughs> word Christ. morbidly like you're like morbidly like there's no coming back from no. this <laughs> like, dude you're like no but no it's, it's kind of like joke do you like do you remember the we fit yes dude oh, the I, board I did, I did love doing that though dude, i did i love the I fuck love doing it. I, I still fucking leave we fit i still have it too do we do too yes. i literally will be like so i'll step on the board and it says Oh, and I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Every single fucking time, I'm like, that. listen, I don't know what your fucking husband looks like. I don't know what your family issues look <laughs> like, but fuck you. I stepped on this board to try to get myself better. I want to do some fucking planks. I want to look at the fucking hot yes. avatar mm -hmm. guy you guys got. And I want to fucking lean side to side to have a soccer ball hit off my Did face. Did you ever do the, the, the yoga alone. thing where you had to sit on it? Yeah. You know? It was so hard. Dude. It was so hard to sit on it. Dude. The one, the one where it makes you, okay, so it makes you put your butt on it and then like plank outwards and then lean side to side. It was yeah. the ma yes. it was like when you hit the master level, when you got enough coins, yes. I was like, let me find any NFL football player who can do this. I swear to God, I'll suck their dick right the fuck now <laughs> for free. For free. It's true, though. That was really hard to do. <laughs> There's no way. Even if you were, like, a Wii Fit expert or an athlete, like, that's very hard. Oh, my God. Or hula hoop. Dude, ain't nobody hula hooping for nine fucking minutes, dog. <laughs> Nobody's doing that shit. I've been there. No. And then they... What was another one? What, what were some of them? Oh, there the was snowboarding. Ski, ski snowboard. Ski, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> it was fucking fun. Oh, we should play that. Dude, we... We should play that. We Fit was, like... It was so changing. Like, even, you know, the bowling. You really felt like you were bowling. You really did. You know, like... I mean, is that, like, a reflection of our lives, though? Like, we really felt like that was bowling? Like, we're like, like are we, do we have a problem? We're like, dude, I'm killing it in stand-up. And you're killing it burlesque. And everybody's like, Jesus Christ, look at this shit show. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they thought they were bowling on We Fit. Oh. Dude, these guys suck. This is, gonna, this is exactly we'll what... We'll think we're great, though. I mean, we'll be okay. I'll support you. You support me. <laughs> this is exactly why people tuned into this. Hey, if you guys, if you guys are still here at 35 minutes, listening and wondering why you guys are here, this is exactly the reason. We've been oh, on here for 35 minutes. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. I know. Wow. I know. I love you. <laughs> I know. I still want to talk about how talented you are at sewing. God, <laughs> damn. <sighs> All right, let's take a shot of Fireball and regroup. Oh, great. Oh. You need to take two this time. I took two last time. I'll take ten if you want me to. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> we have another bottle. Mish brought us another one. Actually, um, so one time I chugged an entire one of these Did on you here. Really? Oh, my gosh. I would love to see that. I held up so strong during the podcast. You know, we should do another one where I have a bottle of Jaeger. Oh, we, well, we can listen. Remember the thing we said earlier? We're fucking grown ups. We can do whatever we want You're whenever right. we, we can. want. This is like the epitome. This is the definition of what this show was meant to be. Shot 30 podcast was meant to be. Have you ever seen Hot Ones? Yeah, I love that show. So, you know how Sean Evans can, like, he can eat those. Yes. Hot, well, I know I can drink so much. Oh, my God. And I know that I can get so much drunker than most people. Mm -hmm. And. But it was like five episodes in where I was like, oh my God, what do I do with this asshole puking in my studio? <laughs> when I was like, hey, we can't do this anymore. Who was your guest? Oh, it Can was every single one of them. Are you serious? Um, we, we did have one really, really, we had, out of all of them, we've had two bad, two I would that I would classify as really bad, mm -hmm. but one was so bad that I really hurt my feelings. 
It really hurt, like, Ooh. for a long time. Like, it was just like, no, we just came on the podcast. We're talking, having fun, and just loving each other. Like, just doing this. Like, right. This is my favorite thing. We've had conversations. Yeah. You and I, like, a lot of people that come into the studio, I've never talked to at all, True. ever before. True. So, like, I, I know you. I know everything you're about. Like, I love you. You're beautiful. You're perfect. I'll buy you anything you want at Walgreens. Oh God, that, but. That is true. I've had some people that didn't know anything about the show or yeah. about me. And then, you know, I'm like, hey, you want a shot of Fireball? You don't need to drink. Nobody needs to drink on this show. There's been, uh, I don't know, 50 episodes where somebody's like, no, 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 I don't drink. Right, right. That's fine. That's fine. But I, oh, it was just so stressful to have a person like, why, why would you try to get me drunk and embarrass me? It's not embarrassing. No, like it's I'm not like, embarrassing. I'm like, no, if there's anything you want taken out of the show, we'll take it out. Like right, it's right. in live. That's the reason we don't do it live. Right. It's because I say stupid shit too. <laughs> I'm talking about Randy Sinclair and like That's not stupid. <sighs> Those are feelings. Man, but you're your, right. your wife is beautiful too though. Ah man, she is the best. You know what? I just wish she'd be more open to the me and Randy thing, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. She <laughs> I literally, she watch this, and I already know when, like, uh, when I see her face, she's gonna be like, <laughs> "I'm fighting this one." <laughs> like, oh, I love it! But I love she, it. she does have that beautiful picture over there too. And hey, she was in a magazine, so go buy the Those fucking photos. magazine. She was, she was in a magazine for that. Yeah, that is fucking. That's dope. the that's the page out of the magazine. That's awesome. Those and, photos turned out so good. Oh man, so good. And like, oh, so like. Her pictures, like, on the refrigerator when you go mm-hmm. up. Oh, my gosh. 85 pounds. She's lost 85 pounds in seven months. That's that's amazing. And so, you like, you don't realize what 85 pounds is until you pick up your fucking nine-year-old. Mm-hmm. And you're like... It's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> Damn. 80, it is. 85 pounds mm-hmm. is a chunk of change right there. It is a lot. But I would like to know, she was beautiful before she even lost it. Oh, yeah, of you course. You know? She, she really was. But she was. The thing was, you know, like, I've always, like, I've ne- like, never, ever, ever, I just always just, I just yeah. adore her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, but. Who wouldn't? Like, with everything now, mm-hmm. this confidence. Yes. Like, the confidence. It, it's so different. She's just like. Walks in the house, I'm sucking your fucking dick. I'm like, no, you're not. And she, she'll be like, no. Like, she and sounds it, like Randy. <laughs> but she gets this fucking face on her. It's like, listen, I'm the only one who has a say. I'm like, shit, man. Like, fucking eight months ago, you didn't do this. Now you do have a say. I was like, fuck, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really has been. It's just so nice. Like the excitement of like stepping on the, her, her stepping on the scale and saying, yeah. like, I'm down seven fucking pounds. Like, is, dude, we're like, let's go get the fireball. Like, I love it. I'm like, let's see how fast we can put it back on. But you know what I love? What? I love that you support her so much. Uh, okay, like she's... it never before now, like you never stopped and you support her so much. And I love Love that and even like when you were in our show you questioned doing it because it was her show too oh man it was you know that was that was tough that one was a tough one you know like you guys you guys right. got me pinned on the phone man you guys got me pinned on the phone <laughs> um i was just so you know like i got asked that day to right. do a big um a big mic like a big right, right. and there was just no way, you know, like when I looked at it, everything's always been about me. It's always like, you know, like I, there's so many things, you know, like her baking and everything, mm-hmm. but like, it's never been just, there is my wife doing this. Right. And, and especially like the hard work for that moment, there was no way I could ever. She worked so hard for it. She did. And she was so good. Ah, oh, dude, it was so great. It was so good. You ran so fast. So I was in the back waiting oh my God, to was, go on. I was going to ask you, you if you remember. You ran out of there. You blasted through those doors. She did so good. She did so good. And you booked it. You we were so fast. Dude, I thought you were going to fall down the stairs. I actually made it outside where I had to pause because mm-hmm. I had to fucking just wipe all the fucking tears. I was just so proud of her, man. Like, 
fuck, it's so much fun. Yeah, we're dancing, we're singing, we're, you know, we're we're doing stand-up. We're all just doing these goofy things. Everybody that's performing in the Quad Cities. But you know what? That first time, that first time means everything. It really does. It really does. <sighs> And so when she fucking killed it, I've watched her do this in the garage. I've watched her break her ankles, break her back, literally fall out of the chair, literally like do it naked. <laughs> I've watched all of these things. And that moment when she did it, she killed it. She owned it. Oh, it she, was... she did. She did. <sighs> you, man, you were so fast. <laughs> you, you were so fast. Dude, I move pretty good for a pork chop. Like, you just call yourself a pork chop? Yeah, I'm I a, love it. I I'm love a good, it. I'm a good eat right there. I love Any it. Of people who like pork chops, go visit my uh, Patreon. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't have a Patreon either. You should start one. I know. <laughs> well, actually, when our TikTok, um, like the the big wiener thing. Yeah, I saw those. So when that hit big, like we had 80 million views in yeah, a that's month. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, if I just would have set up a damn OnlyFans account that month, we would have made, made like $80,000 that you month. You could have funded because her people, whole I know, Jesus. I, I know. People thought it was real. And so if I would have realized that people were going to think that that thing was real, it was all comedy. Are you? Wait a minute. People thought that was real? Oh, yeah. That's the reason why it hit it so big. Are you serious? People went through my whole page every single video to find out if it was real or not. So in like our videos that had 200 views jumped to to 2 million views. Every, That's amazing. Yeah, because they're like, awesome. whoa, whoa, we just found out it's not even real, guys. Like, look <laughs> at this video. It's from two months ago. That It's not real. I'm like, yeah, duh. No shit. You fucking stuffed it with cotton, you fuck faces. Jesus Christ, you get hard and you die. Yeah. You would literally die. Dude, Blood I, touch, loss. I touch the sun, dude. <laughs> I'm literally creating <laughs> solar eclipse out there. Oh, my God. Dude, it was like Jack and the Beanstalk, but... <laughs> But I didn't like kids on there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know who got banned recently? <laughs> um, What's her name? Courtney, Courtney Kardashian? Is that her? Courtney? Oh, yeah, she was her, my favorite. Her kid got banned. For, 13 year old was on there. For, wait, on where? On TikTok. For, she got banned for what? He Being got 13. Oh, oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. God. <laughs> All right. That's pretty, like. Pretty good reason to be banned when it's a 16-year-old app. Okay, Pete Davidson. Love him. Okay, what do you think of him and Kim K? Good for him. Um, I think that uh, Kim K, I don't know. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. So here's my theory. I think it's a, it's a publicity thing. You think it's a publicity thing? 100%. Dude, 100%. Pete Davidson, like, I really I love like him. him. I love him. I do love He's him. He's just this quirky, goofy I'm sorry, Race, weirdo. but I do love him. <laughs> can we say Race? Yeah, we can say Race. Hey, Race, dude, I just want to say, dude, I love you. Okay. I just, oh, I love oh. him too. Oh. Sweetheart. He's the best. I didn't know. He if is. I really got nervous saying, like, um, when I tagged in the thing, like, giving off all the Lord Voldemort. He makes that joke himself. I know, and I was like, maybe he's gonna be mad at me because we haven't. Me and Race have ever not actually ever even spoken. That's crazy to me. Yeah, so you get along well. I know. I've been told by multiple people, even including Brad. Yeah, Um, Yeah. Brad said that they worked together at Red Lobster. Yeah, Brad told me that too. Yeah, he said that he was easily one of the most loving people that he's ever met. He He goes that. Brad would come to work and just feel sad or miserable. And there's race just making jokes, being happy Aww. and goofy and silly. Aww. And so, I mean, any human being like that deserves all the love. You know, like I had, I had a guy when I worked at Menards, mm-hmm. his name's Kerry Cortez. He was actually, he was saying on the voice. Oh, really? He comes over oh, to the house. Cool. Um, he was the only one. So the Halloween party. Yeah. That, that I tried to come to. So when I shot, like when I was like, Ah, uh, well, unless you guys want to come party. Carrie was the only one that was left awake. It was me and Carrie. Oh, my God. But you would have showed up to the house listening to, I mean, Bruno Mars, um, Adele, okay that, that type of voice. My That's, aunt thinks I look like Adele. Isn't that weird? I don't think so. I might get it. I might get it. Yeah, I mean, her and my I, grandma, 100% And I you. love Adele. I love I Adele. Do. What did, have you listened to her new album? Uh, I know some of the songs off of it, but I did buy. I, like I loved. I'm a. I'm still an album buyer, and yeah. like we have the record player. 
upstairs. Yeah. Like I love, I love it. Um, Adele is one of those. Adele, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars. There's Sam Smith. There's mm-hmm. some voices that you can just like. It's kind of like listening to Jimi Hendrix. Yes, you just something hear for every mood. something. Oh my god! Or like Queen. You just mm-hmm. hear this sound and this voice it's kind of like when you listen to shot 30 and you hear the host's voice That's so true oh my god so true so, so true it's like orgasmic <laughs> orgasmic <laughs> all right i'm shooting snot bubbles all right no we're done <laughs> well, right, we're done with all that oh my god all right so what we were talking about 40 minutes ago you're really great at fucking de- like sewing sh- clothes and shit oh my gosh um, yeah. Oh, how'd you learn how to do that? Um, well, basic sewing. Oh my God. Where are we? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How did we get, how did we get this far into This is like my normal pod? family conversations. Oh. You have to just jump. Dude, your grandma. Oh my God. Like, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> all this Brandy Sinclair shit, yeah. dude, I got a mad crush on your grandma. You really? Yeah. I should going love that. Dude, like literally after, I feel like now, I'm now four videos deep of your grandmother. Are you serious? Yeah. Which ones? The, so uh, when you surprised her, yes. there was the yes. one of, you did something, there was a, uh, there was a birthday cake, she walked in, she was like. Ah, like it, was, it was like three years ago, four probably, years ago. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And then, um, the pasty uh, video, pasty, the, pasty, <laughs> the pasty video. And then there was one other one. Oh my God. And so I've been, uh, did you see the one of her and race where they're doing like pigeon sounds? Oh no. That one is fucking hilarious. Uh, okay. You well, have now, to see that one. Uh, now I'm invested. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, like I, dude, like that looked like. You assholes, like, what are you guys? Oh, my God. I oh, love her. I love that. So I just love that. she has always been like that. Like, it's not something that's came into old age either. Like, she, so my grandma raised my brother and I. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're reflections of her, if you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but she's literally always been like that. And, um... Yeah, it's never ending. I have so many videos I haven't even uploaded. Dude, I love that. I, you know, I think the main reason I love that so much is I never, I grew up without grandparents. I never, really? never a grandma oh God, or grandpa. That'd be awful. I could not imagine that. I never had cousins, nieces, nephews, nothing. Yeah. So yeah. I grew up with, you know, just really nothing. Thanksgiving dinner was, hey, a plate, and then go to my bedroom and play PlayStation or whatever. You know, like. Um, and so like to see that type of love and excitement, like when did this asshole get home? And I (laughs) I fucking love that. I love that. Oh, that was so funny. I need a shirt that says, um, what'd she say? She's like, what the hell? What the shit? I need a shirt that says what the shit. Oh my gosh. And then turn, it's just. And she goes, you better give me a kiss. Get over here and give me a kiss. And then and then, and then, she goes, kiss me on my head. I don't care. Kiss me on my head. Kiss me. She's like, so cute. I'll like, kiss you wherever Grandma you want. Grandma Fontaine. Yeah. I gave her that name now. Yeah. And she's like, excuse me, what? I was like, that's your name. She's like, oh, my God. She loves it. She Did, loves the attention. This is me extending out that offer to Grandma Fontaine. If you ever want to come on Shot 30 Podcast, I'd love to have you here. You should. Oh, dude, I'll massage her she feet. She probably hit on you the entire time. Oh, dude, I'll massage her feet the whole time. <laughs> oh, dude, oh and if, if a toe slips in my mouth, man, that's between me and the Lord right there. Oh, dude. my goodness. <laughs> you heard that, G. I call her G. So, G, you heard that. That's an open invite. 100%. 100%. So, whenever she answers the phone, she always says, yeah, no matter who it is. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the first thing, whenever it is, yeah, can I help you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No matter if it's like her bank, no matter if it's me, no matter who it is. So if you called her right now, I guarantee she'd say that. Should we call her? We should. We, we can should. put her on here. Let's turn this shit up. We well, really should. Yeah. And hey, if anybody's looking for anything for Christmas, hey, visit Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies. Visit Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies for the best decorative cakes, cupcakes, cookies, delights, designs, everything you can think of for Christmas this year. Everyone will love it. And visit them on Facebook and Instagram today. They're so good. You got that shit on speaker? Okay. Ready? Let's see if she answers. She's a busy woman. Does she know you're on the podcast? Well, she knows I'm doing it. She probably doesn't remember, though. Get it real fair. close to there. 
Remember, she'll never be able to hear me. Damn, I hope she answers. Yeah. Hey, T. Hi. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm on a podcast, and the host of the podcast wanted to talk to you. <laughs> he, 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 he wants to talk to he's you. He's a big fan. He's a big fan of you. No, it's not race. It's not him. It's someone else. I thought she said it was roofies. <laughs> it's somebody else. Do you want to talk to him? No, he's a pervert. Who's <laughs> <laughs> a pervert? Oh my gosh, this is the best. Okay, here you go. Here you go. His name is Shane. <laughs> oh my god. This is Shane, the best. okay? I'm so excited. Same or Shane? Shane. I mean, you can yeah. call him either. He'll you accept. Call, yeah, yeah, I'll take whatever. Here you go. Hello. Well, hello. Well, I've seen that you've been the superstar of so many of Miss Fontaine's um, videos, and I am a big fan of you. So I was hoping that maybe you would come on Shot 30 Podcast sometime. I've seen you with your grandchildren surprising you coming home. I've seen, yeah, I've seen so much stuff of you, and you're the best. All right, though. Yeah, I said that I would I, literally. I, re I really am. You can't beat me, can you? There's no way to. You're second How do to none. I know you. Do I know you? Well, you you might know me a little bit better because Miss Daisy was on my podcast today, which should be up by tonight, and so you'll be able to watch and you'll be like, hey, "This guy ain't no pervert. He's just a normal guy." He might be, but. <laughs> Not, not yet, but she was at the show. You did comedy at. Yeah, you. I, I did. I did stand up at the show. I was the guy who got on the stage, made stupid jokes, and then danced. Oh. You remember the black outfit <laughs> you I wore? The black hat. The black hat. Yep, outfit. that was me. Oh my god, I love you. Oh, this is the best. You're the best. Thank you for saying that. I love you too. Seriously, I'm such a big fan of you. Are, huh? Yes, like no, like literally we've been, so when Miss Daisy called you, um, we had been talking about you for like the past 10 minutes on the podcast. Oh my God, where did you run into her at? I've known her, like I did, I've done Mary's dance class and uh, my wife is in Mary's dance class and oh. yeah, so I just love them and I have like a radio talk show that I do and that you're on right now. Oh, I am, huh? Yeah, say whatever you want. Boy, I have to watch my mouth, huh? No, 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 no. There's no limits. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Don't you. You better, Gee. you better not kill her. <laughs> she loves she it. She thinks that's so funny trying to pull jokes on me all the time. She's not pulling jokes on you. I begged her to I begged her to call you. <laughs> oh my god. How do you like doing you do the burlesque dancing too? Well I've done it I guess twice now. One time was after I did stand up and whew, it was a I mean excuse my language here but a bit of a shit show. And then, um, and then the one time I went to the class, you know, that was a bit of a man. I was just letting all my jiggle jiggle. She's seen the video. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying my best. I was just having fun with a bunch of hot women. Oh, that's right, weren't you? The oh, but your wife was there. Yeah, and she oh she's she's a hot woman too. Whew. Oh, we, you are so nice saying that too about your wife. Oh, I love her. She's my tell favorite her, person in the world. Tell her that she had her cupcakes. Is she really? You had her cupcakes. I, oh, I like her cupcakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She so she good. performed that night, too. She was the Misha Nouvelle. She was in the, uh, my wife is the one with, like, the red, and she had, like, the w big white T-shirt on. Yeah. I think she went on right before me, maybe. Right, right before you, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. She went right on before Miss Daisy. Uh, how do you like Miss Daisy's name? 
Oh, I love. Oh, I love her. I love her name. Ask her, I ask her about that tassel video. Hey, what did you think? Oh, wait, wait. Or about her tassel video? Yeah, her tassel video. For she so, remembers it. I just wanted to know a little bit more about your tassel video when you put on Daisy's tassels. Oh, I was, no. I was just hoping there would be a little bit less clothes. You know, like. Oh, you would with less clothes. I'm going to tell you that right no, now. No, I can tell you right now. That's all I wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, I told her I could do that, too. I know. Those tassels didn't go too good for me. <laughs> I have to practice. Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I was like... And then I'll take another video of me. And I'll show her how good I've gotten. Ah. Uh... Yeah, uh-huh. well, maybe we should practice together and then send her a video of you and me together showing how good we've gotten at it. I don't think so. Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> you probably leave your, leave your wife then. My wife is the one who told me to ask you. Oh, she'll know. <laughs> she'll know that we were just doing our best work. She'll probably be down here, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I cannot wait to actually meet you. I'm going to give this phone back to Miss Daisy. And, okay. hey, you come on this podcast, I swear to you. Hey, we'll get this thing perfected. And even if we don't, we'll make it look good trying. Oh, okay, bye. Bye, G. Love you. Love you, too, honey. Bye. Bye. Is she great? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I feel, Is she great? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she goes, Who the hell are you? <laughs> She's like, I don't know who you are. Um. She's making fun of me. <laughs> and then she goes, Oh wait. I know who you want. <laughs> oh, that was a freaking blast. That was so fun. That was great. Oh my god. You should get her on here. I'll I'll talk to her. Dude, even we can we could do it together. Oh god, she'd love us. We can make a line of mice. Uh, she's gonna call you an alcoholic though. Oh, like for I, this. Yeah, that's well listen, I may force her to drink a little bit of fire. She likes peach snaps. Okay, she'll peach have it all. Peach snaps, that's her thing. She'll have bottles worth. She probably hasn't had in like twenty years, but you that's know what, her thing. This is the like the number one thing that I I hate the most what? is the fact that we are literally like at the end. Are you serious? I know. We didn't even talk about sewing. I know. <laughs> Jesus. We've been trying to get to that since minute Hold seven. On. Hold on. So my great grandma <laughs> yeah. taught me and my grandma, my grandma knows how to sew too. My aunt taught me how to, um, how to sew things. Um, just a whole combination. I come from a family of sewers. And over time, I've just kind of made it my thing. And I and look at something, and I just turn it into something else. Yeah, a lot of people say that you have, like, you turn a trash into treasure. Yeah, like that. yeah, I do. And, and I mean, I've seen, like, you're like, hey, look at this. And then, boom, it's your underwear. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. look at that. So I like to look for, um, like, little kids' dance costumes. I, that's what oh, I look for when creepy. I go thrifting. I mean, a little bit, a little bit, but. They always think I'm buying it for my kids, but in reality, I'm buying it to make undies. Oh. Um, but whatever. So I buy that, and then I just kind of look at it, and I make, I make stuff from it. Well, that's like that's like I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole art style in itself, mm-hmm. and so is burlesque. And the way you perform burlesque is also an art style in its right. own. Right. And I think that a lot of the things you do mm-hmm. are. It's, it comes out of a creative, like, nature or, yeah. you know, a lot of people are like, no, nah, I'm not that creative or this or that. But, like, you, almost everything that you do, you're looking at a always, bigger picture always. of something. I always am. You're, you're one of those, like, exactly what we just said a few minutes ago, turn trash into treasure. Literally. And, I, and I, lo- I love that because it really can be, you know, a whole – like you can take a beautiful house and just make it your own by being your own you self. Want, you want to know something cool? Yeah. So my whole apartment is decorated by theme. Each room has a different theme. I love that. Isn't that awesome? I love that. So like my kitchen is like 1960s, 1970s. <sighs> yep. Um, my bedroom is full like boudoir. I have pinup girls everywhere. I have like an over the top canopy bed. 
Um, my living room was more modern, and my bathroom was like Hawaiian vintage 1940. Oh yes, I can love it. Yeah, I love it. I lo- I love it's that. So different. You you've got to come back on the podcast, right? I definitely like, will be. I cannot believe that this is this fast. Like this is crazy. It feels like it feels like we've been like 20 minutes. Tops. I, 20 I, minutes tops. I know, and I I hate that I like I'm literally forced to do this because I've done three hour podcasts and stuff like that. Have you really? Yeah, but we just lose it. Like our that's numbers true, just show true. this. It it goes like this. It like, well, and then it shows me the time, an hour, and then boom, everybody's gone. So how many gone. people do you need to like follow you so you guys can get paid like on YouTube? We need three hundred more subscribers yes, on you YouTube. Can do that you can um, do that. We're doing great uh, internationally, um, right? Philippines, Ireland, all those countries. Thank you guys so much for downloading the podcast, listening to the podcast. Where can everybody find the hot miss at Fontaine? You can find me on Facebook at Daisy Fontaine. You can add me. And then I'm also on Instagram as Miss Daisy Fontaine. So Snapchat too, Daisy Fontaine. And any Mary Quite Contrary House of Burlesque show, show up. Her performances are literally second to none. And so is all of these other people putting in this incredible amount of hard work, time, effort to just keep you guys, like entertain yeah, you guys. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to be at Varieties on December 11th. Yep. Pretty excited about that. Um, the underwear for that show that I'm wearing, I made those oh. out of a kid's costume. <laughs> So this is what she was looping back to. This is called always, a callback joke. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Cinnamon and I are going to be at Muddy Water Mayhem on December 18th. Okay. Yes. We will have the links attached to everything down below. Visit all those things. Visit Mary Kwai Contrary's House of Burlesque. Um, I can tell you right now, we've also had multiple people reaching out about how it works. And I did kind of want to leave this ball in your court. Yep. Yeah. We've had multiple people asking about the troop and burlesque, and T- Timory was just on the show talking about the stuff. Mm-hmm. I would like for you to explain kind of a little bit, like more about like the showcase and so the student, sh- the student showcase, no, well, or like shows in general, or like burlesque size and all those things. How like people just show just show up, dance, yeah. have fun. It's very so burlesque size. We have two left of the year. Um, we have two left of the year. Sorry, I'll, I'll eat the mic. Yeah, yeah, just for this one. <laughs> so we have two left for the year. Um, they're really cool. They're at Studio Mesic, um in Davenport, Iowa. It's right by Five Points in Davenport. And I hear there might be a new location soon. Oh, there might be. You never yeah. know. And that'd be know. so much closer. <laughs> um, anywho, um, we have those. They're very fun. Come see me. I'm always there. Um, so is Mary. Always Should make hang. you a little bit nervous at Mish, first. Mish is there too. Hey. Only, um, only if you're Shane. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the only guy there. Come on. That's true. That's true. That is true. Give me a little leeway. So, um, but we have that. And then as far as that goes, it's drop-in. Mm-hmm. It's drop-in. We haven't announced our um, dates for next year, though. So those are to be announced. But we have two left this year. Might as well get it. Yeah, get to them. Show up to the shows, man. People are working so hard in this area. Show up to the shows. The links will be attached below. Mm-hmm. Um I have a show December 4th. Shots and giggles, shots and giggles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's December 4th. Thank you for thank uh, you Race McCarris will also be there. Yeah, Race will be there. <laughs> I will be performing stand up. He'll be performing improv. Um, we have that, and we have a couple more shows coming up, or, and I just don't remember anything about them. Shot 30 podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Castbox, YouTube, all those things. Please use the promo code Shot 30 at Manscaped and visit Miss Newbie's Cakes and Cookies and go to Honey and Ether with their new. Um, like Black Friday sales, they will be on the podcast on Sunday, all three of them. And this is going to be a whole full studio. We're going to be warm as shit in here. Did you see their new, um, like photo sessions for next year? Did you see those? Yeah, I think that's I hope to God you're buying your wife one. Like I'm hoping to God they give me a fucking free one for them being on the podcast and doing free advertising. Probably not. They are worth the money. Listen, I'll do 50%. Oh my and this God. is Shot 30 Podcast. That's the beautiful Daisy Fontaine. Oh my gosh. She will be back. And if she's not back, we're going to have words. <laughs> and if her grandmother's not back, damn, dude. 
There will be blood. Oh, my God. This is Shot 30. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. As always, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And if you don't, well, then fuck ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God.